Alright guys, <clears throat> so I did this earlier, ended up mounting the tank and the compressor in the rear. I'd actually bent up this steel here, sorry for the wind, and I was going to put it over there, over here. <clears throat> What I had done is I put a year and then mocked it up over there. That wasn't going to work because if I got to take the bed off, I'll have this section mounted to the bed and this section mounted to the frame because this is now the frame. Not to mention the exhaust is there, the drive shaft is there, and the tank and the compressor are going to be close enough to where. This hose is short, so got the tank here, use the old gas tank straps on here. I'll put a piece of rubber in here, like a bicycle tube or something, and then uh, I'll end up uh, drilling these out and uh, probably bolting them instead of just using these self-drilling screws, sheet metal screw things. So, anyway, I'm going to have to find me an adapter for this because it flies. Because I need to, that's its air filter. I might even do a hose or something and relocate it. Maybe run a hose under here. And relocate the air filter somewhere secure somewhere maybe relocate it so where it's up here I don't know install in dry area away from moisture so I might just take this and make a hose and uh, adapt it somewhere but anyway we got the compressor compressors mounted here, tanks mounted, it's a sensor, pressure sensor, pressure sending unit, 90 PSI comes on, 120 PSI shuts off. So the tank is rated for 200 PSI. So now I gotta figure out all the wiring. I am gonna have the one I'm going to have one valve go to the rear, and then I'll have another valve go to the front. Um, but yeah, for the most part, um, most part, uh, yeah, as you guys saw, I got to drive it. I didn't even have any of these bolts tight for the arms. Um, but it looked like it cleared the tires. This tire does rub though. Over on the outside here. So maybe when the kid comes home. Maybe he'll want to go for a little cruise. We'll drive it. A couple more feet. Um, But. Yeah. I went in the house. I took a shower. I took a nap. And uh, I was kind of, kind of beat, kind of wore out. I don't know what wore me out the most. It's probably uh, buffing the Audi. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it for. Oh, I'm bringing this over here. That's it for this video. Um, Next, I'll have to run <sighs> I'm gonna have to run this is the valve so I think uh, one is front one is rear or one is right one is left and uh, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do uh, uh, front rear so 
the red needle in there will be front or rear and the white needle will be front or rear but for the most part that's that there's some line the line for it so and then this will just be mounted in the cab I think for the time being I will just mount it hmm I don't know I'll just mount it in the back with as short of a line as I, I can get because I'll probably have to buy more line for it so with that being said I'm gonna end this video with the uh, tank and compressor installed and uh, yeah and then hopefully next video will be maybe the kid will come home and we can go drive it maybe we'll go down the street turn around and come back something like that but alright guys thanks for watching comment let me know how you guys think what you guys think of the build so far and uh, yeah that's it alright guys later all right, guys. I'm gonna see where all these leaks are from. So I've got a leak there, big leak there, big leak there. Leak, leak on all these. So, and down there. So, basically, I just gotta go in with some <clears throat> Teflon tape. But I got wired all up or hosed all up, I guess. So, we're gonna. And then aired up with no air. Basically, I just got this charging, this jumper. <laughs> Not the quietest of compressors, but whatever. Maybe I'll make a box for it. Insulate it. So right now I just got it jumped, so I don't have it set up to the sensor. I do have it set up to the, the little breaker box right there. The 40 amp breaker. If it overloads, it'll trip that. So, as you can see, I'm gonna go up. gonna let it charge we try to bring it to about 50 or 60 psi but as you can see it's working all right let's get these bags maxed out so as you can see that's about inches of lift yeah roughly five quite a bit I think that's about as high as I can go I'm getting 
getting about six inches out of these bags. But, um, that's about it, about 50 PSI is about it. max I can get. So, kill it. See what it looks like. That obviously is not right height. Right height will be just two inches. So let's just dump it. So I am going to have to build some type of support here because it's wanting to grab the frame and twist the frame. Like see channel? It's wanting to twist the frame on the airbags. So what I'll probably do, since this is a, a better spot, I'll come weld a piece of steel from there to there um, to help support it I guess I don't really know any other way to do it so anyway that's what I got so I got all these all these done I'll leave it like that probably come back out do some Teflon taping on it. Then I'll have to figure out all the wiring. Because I have a relay. That fuse. Um, and uh, yeah, go from there. So. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to throw this crap somewhere. Anyway. That's it guys, that's it for the for the air. Um, you guys don't need to see me wrap Teflon tape around it. Um, you guys don't need to see me do all that stupid stuff. It's pretty basic. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I do want to make it a, uh, a one series. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you real quick. Is I'm gonna take so I'm gonna take this T off here. I'm gonna take that T and put the T in here, and then with that T, run one off of probably one of these sides here. This way, it's just I don't know. It's just easier. Just one will be for the rear. One will be for the front. So, but whatever you guys get the idea so <sighs> anyway one project down next project on to the next project on to the next project so all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos of project crack pipe and uh trying to figure out all this stuff so i right guess subscribe comment Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment if you want. Let me know your guys' ideas, thoughts, everything. Alright. Thanks for watching. Later.